Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Let's learn computer science. Our today's session is about hardware used in a LAN and role and functions of a router. Syllabus reference uh, describe the hardware that is used to support a LAN and describe the role and function of a router in the network. This is syllabus reference for AS and A. Uh, level computer science 9618 syllabus. So let's start. So there are uh, various components, various hardware devices, physical devices that are required when we create a network, when we create a LAN local area network. So some of these are hubs, switches, cables, right? Uh, network interface card, mm, then wireless access points, bridges, routers, you know, there are many, many uh, hardware devices which are required when we have to create a local area network, right? So let's start uh, by having a look at each one of these. So first one is hub, right? Okay, so first one is hub. So hub, it looks like this. Uh, there are multiple uh, ports to connect multiple devices, uh, various devices you can connect. So in a hub, what happens then that uh, data is received from any one of the devices and it is spread across all rest of the devices, right? So hub is basically, it is used to connect a number of devices to form a local area network. And its main task is to take any data packet received at one of its ports and then send the data to every computer or device which is connected through these ports. Yeah. So because of this reason, it's not very secure because each device which is connected will receive the data packet. It can be wired or wireless both. Okay, so because of its this limitation, there is another device which has, uh, uh, you know, uh, has overcome this limitation and is known as a switch. So switch is basically does the same job as a hub. It also connects various devices in a LAN. You can connect multiple devices, you know, using various ports which are available. However, unlike a hub, the switch checks the data packet received and figure, figures out the destination address and then send the data to the appropriate computer or computers only. It do not send to all the devices which are connected, right? Only to those uh, devices it, data is sent across for which it is actually uh, intended, right? So because of this reason, switch is more secure and efficient way of distributing data, right? So that's all about switch. Now we have servers also in a LAN, we also have servers. So server computers are basically those computers which have some services to be given to other computers. So other computers which are known as clients, they will ask for some kind of services from the server computer and server computer will serve those uh, requests. So for example, if it is a file server, it has multiple files kept uh, on this uh, computer and other computers will request for different files from this server and server, server will provide them with those uh, files. If it is a print server, accordingly, it will fulfill the request of the clients. If it is a web server, it will provide the web pages. So that's how. So any, not any computer can become a server, but it if, if every server, it needs some specialized software and hardware to handle all the traffic which is coming in, all the requests which are coming in. So specialized software and hardware is needed and some form of centralized security is also required, right? 
So that's another component in a LAN. Then we also have network interface card. It looks like this. You must have seen this, you know, port, Ethernet port on your computer. Uh, any devices, whether it's desktop, whether it's laptop. So we connect our uh, cables via this port, Ethernet port. So it provides each device in a wired LAN with a unique MAC address. So NIC network interface card, it has uh, at the time of uh, manufacturing of the device, MAC address, which is unique address for the for any device, is written on the NIC, right? So it provides each device in the wired LAN with a unique MAC address to uniquely identify it on the network. And it allows each individual device to connect to the network without NIC network interface card. No computer can get connected to the network. So this is required because MAC address is uh, mentioned on NIC. NIC enables communication between devices by transmitting and receiving data over the network. So that's network interface card. Now network interface cards, they can be wired, which I have just discussed with you, and it can be wireless as well. So wireless network interface cards, they basically, they, they are hardware component that connect devices uh, to the uh, network wirelessly, right? So each device, uh, you know, they get connected via Wi-Fi uh, and also as a wired network interface card provides network address. Similarly, wireless network interface card also provides a network address to each device which is connected to the LAN. Then, we also have wireless access points, right? Basically, uh, wireless access points uh, are the hardware devices uh, uh, and they provide radio communication between central device to the nodes, you know, across from the central device to the nodes and from nodes to the central device also, right? They allow devices to connect to the LAN via Wi-Fi, right? We all use uh, these wireless access points, uh, whether it's our workplace or anywhere where, you know, we, we connect to the Wi-Fi. So uh, these kind of uh, access points are created and multiple devices, multiple devices, wireless basically, they get connected to the plan using these wireless uh, access points, right? Then we have cables. If your network is connected via wired, by guided transmission media, then you might use coaxial cable, twisted pair, or fiber optic cable. So wired transmission medium that allows communication in wired networks. We all have used cables, right, to connect our computers or our devices to another device. Then we also have bridges. So bridge basically connects two LANs which work or use the same protocol. It can also be two segments of the same network as well. It's not necessarily two different networks, but they can be, you know, two different segments of the same network because they are using the same protocol, right? Uh, bridge stores network addresses for all the devices which are connected. It looks for the receiving device before it sends the message. And uh, they are often used to connect together different parts of the LAN as I have already discussed, and it can be wired and wireless, right? Then we have another device known as repeater. Now, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, signals, they can, uh, uh, get weaker after some distance or over long distances. So repeaters, they are used to connect to table uh, cables and they regenerate the uh, data signal. You know, they amplify the signal, they boost the signal, right? Before the signal weakens. So helps preventing attenuation. Uh, 
it boosts the signal so that they can travel travel greater distances right they all amplify both analog and digital uh, communication links so that's how repeaters are used in a lan now next topic is role and functions of a router in a network so router is basically uh, used to connect lan to a wan so whenever you have to connect any network to the internet you use router so routers they provide ability to route data between different networks and facilitate communication between devices on lan and devices outside the lan now what are the functions or role they are multiple right in exam papers you might get a question 3 or 4 marker so you can write any of these uh, functions so lan connects different networks together uh, sorry a router connects different networks together it forwards data packets between the networks receives packets from the devices and then finds the destination of packets using ip addresses mentioned in the packets they maintain routing table controls traffic finds most efficient path packets they independently travel you know to reach out to the destination uh manages data transmission provides network security and filters unwanted traffic divides large network into smaller segments for better management supports remote access to the networks monitors network activity and allows for network management prioritize uh, specific types of data for better performance ensures redundancy and backup and also acts as a firewall right which traffic needs to come in which needs to go out all taken care by a router so that's all now let's have a look at some past paper questions so first question is uh, they are asking that uh, melinda connects her laptop her laptop to the internet through her router now tick one box in each row to identify whether the task is performed by the router or not so you just have to tick right so first is receives packet from devices yeah we have just read up there so this is ticked here finds ip address of the uniform resource locator no it doesn't it it gets the ip address which is there in the packet right so no directs each packet to all devices attached no it only re redirects to a specific path across you know there there are routes so not to all devices stores the ip or mac addresses to all devices attached to it yes it maintains a routing table where all this is mentioned right the next question is uh, the following incomplete table contains four network devices and their descriptions complete the table by writing missing devices so first one is receives sends data between two you just have to figure out which one is this is bridge because it is written as same protocol networks two networks operating on the same protocol so yeah network uh, wireless uh, network interface card so we have just read up here wireless network interface card so we can just pick it from here yeah this one hardware device that provides radio communication you can write any uh, point so because this is one marker so yeah you can write this then receives the data uh, digital signal so it can be transmitted over greater distances restores sorry restores the digital signal so we have just read it is repeater then what is wireless access point that also we have just covered wireless access point it is this so we can sorry we copied this earlier also so net wireless network interface card Yeah, this one will go here and this one will go here. 
right? So, wireless uh, network interface card, hardware component that connects devices to the network wirelessly. Wireless access point hardware device that provides the radio communication between central device to the nodes. Then we have a question. The LAN has both wired and wireless connections. Ethernet cables connect the computers to the server. Identify three other hardware components that might be used to set up the LAN. So we have read all these. We can write any, you know, three out of those. So I have written switch and I see wireless access point, right? So I've written these three. Then next is, this is topology question we have covered in the session where I explained topologies. So next question is, a router is attached to one of the devices on the LAN shown in part A to connect the LAN to the internet. Identify the device, give a reason for your choice. So, you know, we, we can say that router can be connected to either a switch or a server. And accordingly, you have to write your reason for the same so you can write any one of these so if you write uh, uh, switch you can say multiple all the devices are connected uh, to the uh, switch if you write about server you can write a reason accordingly that uh, it, it acts as a proxy server or uh, you know whatever reason you uh, find suitable you can write about that then we have next question describe the role and function of a router we have read all these functions here. So any three we can pick and we can write. So let me just pick these three so we can, you know, copy and any three we can write because this is a three marker question. So yeah, any three we can write. So you'll get three marks. So that's all for today. We have covered hardware used in a LAN and role and functions of uh, a router in a network. So thank you.